Hi guys! And girls. It's whatever! And... Yeah, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So... Uh... Last time? I'm trying to remember here. Uh, we sent our poems to the four girls. And stuff. And it was really good. Except for the fight between Nasuki and Yuri at the end. But other than that, so you already saved the day, so I think everything should be good. So now we're here to make a new poem, and I think I'm gonna make this for Yuri. For reasons that we'll say later, probably. So what would she like out of this group? I think she would like Destiny, yes. Destiny... Um... Essence? Yeah, okay, uh... Do you think disaster? Oh gosh. <laughs> Universe, I, I know she likes. Question? Yes. Um. Frightening. Yes. Oh, dude, I'm so good at this. I'm not sure about imagination. Controllable. Um. Misfortune? Why would Sayori like misfortune? Okay. Uh, Heartbeat? No, oh, that's her. Okay, 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 I got this. Eternity! Judge? No. Spout. So Yuri likes some sad stuff. I thought she was just all happy and stuff. Are you kidding me? Secretive! Um. A tone? I'm just trying to use, like, big words. Not actually, I think I was wrong with. Got three more words left, gotta make them count. Canny? Yes. Uh, Entropy? Yes. Infinite. Booyah! Oh, wait, one more. Um. Woo! Dude, if Yori doesn't like this poem, I don't know who will. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. Oh, wait, that, I'm supposed to use my, um, my voice. I got a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Cat's voice from the game. Enter the club room. Usually scene greets me. Hi, cat! Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. E. I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. Yeah, I've only been here for like three days. Uh, by the way, my friend says like the third day is when stuff. Like, after the third day is when stuff gets a little bit more exciting. So, I'm excited. Maybe we'll, hopefully we'll get there. I should probably stop talking. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. You coming for me to buy a snack? Oh, thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all! This isn't? I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> why, why that all of a sudden? No reason, no reason really. Even though I said I have my reasons. I just wanted to look at it. Ah! Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns ups it upside down and lets its contents spill in it. Onto the desk. Jeez, that sentence just killed me. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair! How did you even know? Simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have brought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I will lend you some. Just one more thing. You're always hungry! And so that only leaves the one option. Wah! I give up! Don't make me feel guilty! You feel guilty? That means you deserve to feel guilty. Haha! <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah! Ah! I wasn't listening or anything. It was just 
something in my book. Yuri. Tell Cat to let me borrow some money. What? No. Good job. That's... Don't give me a fault like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. That's what I'm talking about. And frankly, 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 after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough for retribution. And you're a savage. Ah, uh, I just... I, I didn't mean that! I got too absorbed into my book. Ha! <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you can think that. You're right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept a revolution. Retribution. That. Yeah. Still coming from you, so Yuri. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Not me, I'm a heart of, um... Gold, or whatever. E. Don't let her fool you. She already knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to club before she even told me. What? I have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to try... So I had to trick Nasuki into making them. Wait, seriously? Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, that startled me. Wait, did I just hit... Ka! I don't know where something smacks you in the face and tumbles on, onto the desk. Dude! Ow! What was... Eh? Oh, uh, Nasuki heard, didn't she? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Plastic. Sayori so glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Attribution! Actually, that one almost worked. I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Nasuki, that's so nice of you! Not really. I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! <laughs> Sayori claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! Okay. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Nasuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Uh, yours looks really good too, Nasuki. You have your own. Can I try it? Jeez. Yours can't be choosers. Yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Yuri gets out of her seat and goes behind Nasuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Suki's still in her hand, and Suki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. <clears throat> Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Nasuki's cookie. Dude! Sayori! <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Suki glasses around. Oh yeah, Monica has her... Oh, huh, that's weird. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica, anyway? She's supposed to be your leader! Where is she? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay! She probably just has something to do today. Pretty popular, after all. Eh? I don't think she... she has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. What, a boyfriend? I mean, I don't understand why that would make her late. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. That is not true! I am handsome as Frick! Eh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry! Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, uh, never mind, Dad. What held you up anyway? Ah. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. 
be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Heh. <sighs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I also play piano. That's just a random fact for you guys, by the way. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I was a look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, cat. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, well, I'm not really, like, for all my talk, I'm not the greatest piano player, but I can play pretty decently, I think. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Eh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. I really love the sh chance to share once I'm ready. Let's see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... Not really. Choose the leave Sayori's mischievous, mischievous escape in. What? <laughs> I'm sure Nasuki would end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Reads back to her book. And so Nasuki disappeared into the closet. Okay. Yuri is back to her book, and Nasuki disappeared into the closet. Uh. Huh. I wonder why she's always in the closet every time. Okay, jeez. Okay. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. Okay, sorry guys, I keep getting... Uh, well, you know, whatever. Anyway, I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she... Well, more than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap. <laughs> I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks, she sneaks in her glance at me, and her eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I'm under this sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place, but I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's a book that you gave me, right? Hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you had two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. Yay! I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about anyway? Well... Hmm. No spoilers, dude. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost young, long younger sister. As soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. While her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Very made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> you really gently giggles all of a sudden. <laughs> Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Cat? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and inclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. 
Yeah, that's probably when I why when I picked all the dark stuff. You like those? Yeah. It's just that those kind of stories they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. Horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. And suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, you made out to be the naive one for letting their one side morals interfere with the villain's plans. I can relate with that. I'm. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I gotta forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... well that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Heh, <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put in my bag. Alright. It's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to yours. Ah! Yeah. You sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. There's nothing to be nervous about, girl. I got you, fam. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Ah, uh, alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I still understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's just, I can feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. It's over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. That is strange. <laughs> So sorry, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I... I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. See? I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Ah. I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with my right arm and on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her, her side. Dude, what are we doing right now? <laughs> But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. Oh my gosh. It's actually kind of distracting me. Just if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Wait, why are we even doing this? You said you had the same copy of the book! What's, what's happening here? Eh. You turn the page? Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. Oh, voice crack. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit long. Probably the least I can do. Oh, thanks. Don't you have been so patient with me? Yeah, thanks. May you continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. So I just assume that she finishes with the page before me, so I turn by my own volition. Oh. Okay. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. So we're reading the book together. We're, we are one. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. 
Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... <clears throat> Voice crack again. The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Really? Think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. And she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. It's kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I, I see. Very really in silent for a moment. But, Cat, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ooh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. But wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. I mean, that's what I was thinking. I was like, that's not really a compliment. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I more meant it that it's kind of cute. Eh, eh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Hi! Okay, everyone! Oh man, we we're just getting to the good parts. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Yes! I've been excited for this. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, bare from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. Sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a Preferent, pref preference, either way. Yeah, she only read it. She already read the book for crying out loud. Right? Did I miss something? Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read you with you after it picks up of it, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright! I'll stand up. I, I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. I wish I could make mental notes. But if I try, I usually forget still, so there's no point. 